In this tutorial, we're going to look at InDesign's rulers and guides. At the top and the left hand side of the page, you'll see a ruler, which is very useful for measuring the layout of your page accurately. And you'll see here the X and Y measurements both start at zero at the corner of the page. If you wish to measure a specific object in your page, you can change where zero begins on both the X and the Y coordinates. To do this, if you hold the left mouse button over the corner of the, where the two rulers meet, you can drag the start point. So for example, if I want to measure the size of my Daily Telegraph logo, I can place the ruler there. So I can see it starts at zero on both the X axes and the Y axes. I can then hover my mouse over the other corner and you can see on both axes a marker indicating the height and the width of the logo. So I can see the frame containing the logo is 44 mil by 280 mil. So I'm just going to reset my ruler so that zero is on the corner of the page again. Now you can also use the ruler to place guides on your page to help with measurements. So to place a guide along the x-coordinate, the fastest way to do that is to hold down the left mouse button and drag that guide along to where you want it to start. So I know the Daily Telegraph logo starts 40 mil in from the left hand side, so I'll place a guide there. I can then move my frame to match up with that guide, like so. To place a guide down the Y axis, you simply hold down the left mouse button on the top ruler and drag that down. So I know the logo, the top of the logo is 72.5 mil from the top of the page, so I can place my guide at 72.5 mil and again adjust my frame accordingly so it correlates with those measurements. When you're adding your measurements, you can adjust the X and Y coordinates using these boxes here. So if you want a more accurate measurement, you can do so. And if you wish to remove all of the guides, simply right click on the ruler and choose delete all guides on spread because it can get quite cluttered when you have lots of guides. So it's quite useful to delete the guides once you're happy with the placement of a particular frame.